welcome pilots this is tricker and today we're going to be talking about when does my missile go active in the f-16 now this is one of the most commonly asked questions i get most of the time because usually new players come in and they do not know when the missile goes pitbull so that's what we're going to talk about today so the amram is considered a fire and forget missile but that's not exactly true we do need to support it with a data link until the missile goes pitbull or husky so let's go ahead and break it down and talk about it All right, so here we are split screen. Left side, we have the HUD, which is the right side of the HUD. And on the right side of the screen, we have the FCR. Let's go ahead and bug this target here with TMS up short. He is now bugged in RWS mode or range while search. Let's go ahead and pause it right here and talk about a few things. So on the right side of the screen, you can see it says 1-8. That means he's a 1-8 aspect. That means he's nose hot or the bandit is hot on us. Force is 270, so he's coming straight at us. We're almost heading 080 right now. He's 430 knots, and we have a closure rate of 10,014 knots. So looking at the hood, we're between RPI and RTR. RPI is the range probability of intercept. RTR is the range turn and run. RPI is when the target is within high termination criteria of the AMRAM. And RTR is when the target is within the no escape range of the AMRAM. So this is a pretty good shot. All right, let's go ahead and resume the flight here. And we're gonna go ahead and take a Fox 3 shot at this first bandit. All right, we're going to pause again, and you can see the missile in the top left of the screen is on the way. And let's talk about the HUD. You see an A19. That means the missile will go active in 19 seconds. So we need to support this missile with a 120 data link in order for this missile to go husky. Next on the right side on the FCR, you can see that the bug target now has a rectangular tail on the end of it. This means that the missile has been launched at this bugged target. Now we'll go ahead and resume the flight and what we're going to do is we're going to crank to the right and put the bug target on our left gimbal of the radar now you can crank either way you want to just depends on your tactics and we're going to wait until this a for active goes all the way down to zero and right there we now have an active missile on this bandit and we can break lock with tms down if you want and you can go ahead and peel away or turn in and fire another amram at a different bandit so hopefully this video helps you out figuring out when your aim 20 goes active in the f-16 and thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video